children welcome to vian school i am maithili here now we are going to learn the fifth chapter three digit numbers okay three digit numbers in this we are going to learn about introducing hundreds numbers from 100 to 999 okay so far we have learned one digit numbers that is nothing but single digit number and two digit numbers the greatest two digit number is 99 or the numbers up to 99 sufficient to count the runs in a cricket match okay in cricket match what's the score will be 200 and something like that like that no they may score up to what about 200 also like that so we want that we want to learn that numbers also no what is this 100 200 300 okay come we'll extend the number system okay we will extend our number system further okay because we know only up to 99 no children look here children look at the picture here see here 1 2 how many matchsticks are there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 9 so, matchsticks what 10 matchsticks are there 10 ones makes 1 10 that means 10 ones makes 1 10 okay look here children here 10 what this will make the what 1 10 so now we are going to see this is 1 10 this is 1 10 this is 1 10 10 matchsticks are there in this okay okay 10 that means 10 ones are there in 1 10 1 10 2 10 3 10 4 10 5 10 6 10 7 10 8 10 9 10 10 10 so 10 10 make how much 100 okay children so how much 10 10 make 100 okay children so if you are adding the biggest one digit number is 9 that we know add 1 to 9 what we'll get we'll get the smallest two digit number that is nothing but 10 okay i told in the video no the biggest two digit number is 99 add 1 to 99 we will get the what smallest three digit number understood children okay so this is the way how we are getting the three digit number okay now we'll do the assignment one in the next page come children we'll do the assignment one okay in next page count the hundreds the tens and the ones and write the three digit number look here count the hundreds okay the tens this is the what hundreds okay these are all tens okay this is one ten two ten like that this is one hundred ten okay ten tens are there here and these are all ones now we are going to write how many hundreds are there how many tens are there how many ones are there look at children how many hundreds are there that we will write in hundred column only 100 is there okay how many tens are there children 1 2 3 4 so we write 4 here okay how many ones are there children 1 2 3 so 3 ones are there okay okay children in this way you should do okay so read, read the number 143 143 how to read this number 143 because 4 tens are there no so 110 210 310 410 so it is 40 okay and 3 so 143 okay children come i'll do the next one how many hundreds are there here there 100 200 so write 200 how many tens are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 tens are there and how many ones are there 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 so the number is 265 what 265 okay children how easy no this one so in this way you should you can learn the three digit number okay now we are going to read numbers from 100 to 999 100 is the smallest three digit number that we know numbers from 101 to 200 first we will learn here okay children numbers from 101 to 200 come we'll do the assignment too write the missing numbers from 101 to 200 and read them okay children you should read with me okay come we'll read it read along me read with me children 
101 okay 102 103 104 105 106 107 108 109 110 okay now see the number is missing here what will come here after 110 what will come 111 next 112 write 101 for 100 you write 1 and 12 you write okay 113 114 115 okay 116 is already here 117 118 okay 119 is here 120 so what is what will come after 119 120 121 122 123 okay 124 125 okay children 126 in this way you should fill in this okay fill the okay missing numbers okay children now take page number 98 children in that assignment 3 is there come we will read the question join each number to the correct box join each number to the correct box these are all the numbers given okay we should join it to the num what corresponding to the correct box Look here, one is done for you, we will see that. This number, what is this number children? 184, what 184? Look here, 184 is here. Okay, 84 you know spelling, no? So, you learn 100, that is easy, 184. Okay, now come, we will join the next number, 125. Where is 25? 125. See here. 108. No. 125 is here. Come, we'll match it, children. Look here. In this way, you join it. Okay. So, this is 125. Okay, children. In this way, see here. I'll do one more. 108. 108. Where is 108? 108. It is here only. So, match it to this 108. Okay, children. In this way, you do the remaining thing. Okay. Now, come to the next page, children. We will see assignment 5. Look here, assignment 5. So, what is the question here? We will read it. Okay. Look here, children. What's the question? Write the numbers that come just before and just after the given number. Okay, write the numbers. We should write the numbers that come just before and after the given number. Look here, one is done for you. First, we should read the given number. 227. So, 227. What number will come before that, children? 227. 6 yes so what number will come after 228 easy no yes this is easy no children come we will do one more sum here we will do this this side okay what's the number here 215 okay so what will come before 215 214 okay children correct no yes after 215 what will come 216 what 216 how easy no children come i'll do one more sum here 203 is the given number okay what will come before 203 202 okay children after 203 what will come 204 clear in this way you should do the remaining sums okay Come children, we will do the assignment 7. Okay, assignment 7. Read the question first. 
write the given numbers in ascending order what ascending order ascending order means what small to big number small number to big number okay it's climbing ascending order means we should write the numbers in from small number to big number see the numbers are given here take the first one example sum see the numbers are given here what we should do we should find out the small number first in these four numbers first we read the all the numbers 315 330 321 309 so how to write in ascending order children first see the small number take the small number 309 is the small number that we know okay after that what will come 315 after that what will come 321 after that what will come children 330 okay children so in this way we should write the given number in ascending order okay children come i'll do the sum next sum okay first we should read the sum we read the numbers 350 340 348 334 so which is the smallest number in this 334 is the smallest number so after that what will come 340 after that what will come 348 after that what will come 350 okay children so in this way we should write it from the small number to the big number okay okay children and do the remaining sums okay now we will see about assignment 9 okay we will read the question first help neha to write the given numbers in descending order so that she can reach home safely okay who is she she is neha okay neha see here her house is here so the steps are there here so she what she should do she should what write the numbers these are all the given numbers if she write it in descending order she can reach home safely okay otherwise she can't her ma what uh, ma'am won't send her home okay so what descending order means what from big number to small number we should write okay big number to small number okay children come we'll see here one number is there 499 is there okay we should write this is the big number in this okay we should find the next big number uh, like that we should find and we should write it in descending order see what will come after that first we will read all the numbers here 425 493 460 499 401 486 so what will be the next big number in this children after 499 this is the big number after that so 493 okay so after 493 which is the big number in this 486 because this is over this is over no so 486 okay children in this way you should write the next two next three numbers okay and finish it so that Neha can go to her home safely okay okay children come children we will do assignment 11 okay assignment 11 so read the question first write the correct sign greater than smaller than or equal between the numbers okay look here the numbers are given here this side this side we should compare the number and write we should whether it is equal or greater than or what smaller than okay see one is done for you first we should read the numbers 502 506 so which is greater 506 so the crocodile mouth will eat the big number that you know no yes children come we'll do the next one so look here what are all the two numbers given here read the number 580 580 same number so both are equal what both are equal okay children come we'll read the next sum 596 569 so which is greater 596 
Of 569, this is the big one, no? 596. So, the crocodile mouth that we know, no? The crocodile, this is the mouth of a crocodile. It will eat the big number because it is very hungry, no? It need more, okay? So, it will eat the big number. Okay, children. Come, I will do one more sum. 521. This side 512. So, which is big number children? 521. So, the mouth will eat the big number because it is 521, 512. So, read the number carefully, okay, so that you can find out which is big. 521, 512, okay children.